Hi! In this series of videos, we will look at workflow from 3ds Max to Creator. While the focus is on Max, many of the concepts will work just as well with other digital content creation applications. Whether your aim is to make games, architectural presentation, site visualizations, or training simulations, you will probably need to create some kind of environment. Simple terrains can be produced in Creator using a displacement map. I'm creating a plane 250 units by 250 units with 30 segments. Next I'll add an image push alteration. This is the equivalent of Max's displace modifier. 15 is a good amount. Let's add a light, then move it up high enough to make sure the corners are lit. Materials in Creator are slightly different than in Max. The material I've just created has a tiling of 10 on the first stage and a tiling of 1 on the second stage. Multiple stages are added together allowing you to set tiling independently for different viewing distances. The terrain can be further enhanced with the addition of vertex color. Creator's gradient alteration produces quick results for a number of applications. For more complex needs, we will look at importing terrain prepared in 3ds Max. This is what the terrain looks like rendered with a single planar map and a complex blend material. To start, I'm going to use Pelt to relax the mapping so we can get rid of a lot of the stretching that is apparent on the steeper areas. While this will improve the diffuse mapping, it will not do for the masks, so we will need to use Map Channel 2 for all but the masks. As you have already seen, Creator makes use of vertex color, but it does not have a means of painting vertex colors, so that should be done in Max before import. I'll add a bit of color to the rocks in the scene. You can use shaders on objects in Creator, including some built-in third-party shader editors such as Shader FX. I've created a shader that uses red vertex color as a mask. Here's the vertex paint modifier I added to the terrain for that purpose. Only the simplest Max materials will import seamlessly into Creator's DirectX environment. Complex materials like the terrain's blend and maps like Mix have no equivalent. But by setting up a helper material containing all the textures used by the terrain, you can simplify the process of rebuilding them in Creator. I'm using the Max DCOM to import my Max files into Creator. It is started up on the first import of a Creator session and reads Max files directly into Creator. I like to clean out extra groups on import before I start working on non animated objects. Now we're ready to build a shader for the terrain material. Creator has several mask type pre built shaders. We'll use Basic Textured Mask. I need to change the default maps. This is where our helper material comes in handy. Textures already used in the scene materials are listed at the top for easy access. I could continue to load the rest of the textures, but I've already prepared a finished material. Creator lets you save materials you have built or customized for future use. I'll add a light to the scene, then set the terrain material to use only it for better frame rate. To prepare the environment for first-person navigation, we need to set the terrain to be a ground or floor object. There's a small footbridge in the scene we'll take care of as well. Next I'll drag and drop a preset navigation smart object into the scene. This one is set up to have a distance to ground of 4.5 units and uses walkabout controls. 
Creator Scenes can use almost any scale. There are a few default settings that may need changing, but you are not constrained to any particular size. Let's use the Select Location to Stand button from the Navigation toolbar to drop us onto the terrain, then click Play and Drive Around. If you prefer shooter type controls, you can turn off the walkabout animation and drop in a shooter version. Now that we can travel around the scene, we may see a few spots that could use some refining. Creator allows you to edit meshes procedurally with alterations and also directly to the mesh. I'll change the display to Edge Solid, turn on the Move tool, select the Terrain object, and adjust a few vertices. Let's add a starting location camera to the scene. We can add a camera and view camera match animation manually, or drop in the camera start smart object to save a few steps. Next we'll need a sky. We'll start by bringing in a mesh type sky smart object. As in Max, it is set to ignore scene lighting. In Max you would make it 100% self illumination. This is the equivalent. Another option is to use the skybox shader. Let's hide the sky dome for now and drop in the skybox. This shader uses a DDS cube map, but the actual scene object uses a non rendering screen blit. As a last touch, as long as we are using a native creator shader, we can add fog to the scene. This is accessed through the scene settings panel, but once again we'll use a preset smart object to make the changes tailored for this scene. As mentioned earlier, Creator can make use of shaders created in third party software. Fog is strictly limited to native Creator shaders, so I'll turn it off and I'll change the sky to match. I've created a complex terrain shader in Shader Effects. It makes use of the Channel 2 pelt mapping, adds normal mapping, and uses the vertex color as its last mask. When a new material is assigned to an object, its vertex color is turned off, so we need to turn it back on to update the material and see the sandy wash. So there you have it, a collection of useful techniques for environments in Creator with a bit of help from 3D Max.